Well, we've had a little bit of a find today. Been to a car boot sale, and we found this rather interesting finder. Probably manufactured maybe before the Second World War. I don't know, but um, it's a Hopkins. Never heard of the make before. English or American, I would imagine. It's got quite an old star set MEM switch on it. And I'd say £20 for it. I'm going to have to uh, strip it down and overhaul it, maybe paint it, but I think it'd be a good little grinder. It's got the dish in the front there for the water for cooling your drill bits or tools when you sharpen them. The grinding stones have seen better days, but I've got various grinding stones I can probably put on there. In one of the um, one of the guards has a hairline cracking. I don't know if you can see that. It's aluminium. It needs a bit of aluminium TIG welding. But apart from that, I can't see much on the label there. What's cleaning up? You can see Hopkins and the various ratings on there, speeds and so forth. But it just needs cleaning up. But for the moment of truth, let's see if it's let's see if it'll start. I'll just plug it in. Let's see if me twenty quid was wasted or not. Well, as you can see, I finally um, refurbished the Hopkins grinder, which I sh showed you in the previous part of the video, which I picked up at um, Dorchester Market for £20. I was a little bit concerned when I bought it because I wasn't sure it was going to work really, it was just a piece of junk sat in the back of someone's van, and I was going to try and knock the bloke down, and I don't know, I just decided to buy it. And I bought it home and plugged it in. And it worked. Although it had a few problems, but it's all back together now anyway. I put some different um, grindstones on it. I put the Union Jack on it, obviously, because it is British. Same as the Progress Elliot Pillar Drill and the Myford Lathe over there. Uh, one <coughs> one grinder wheel I actually had. I had that one. This that's a slightly worn down 8 inch wheel which I've had kicking around for ages I know you shouldn't really use second hand grinding wheels but I did and uh, this is a new one I got off eBay I think I got it for £5 or something that one it was a new one, new, like new odd stock um, the bit I like about it is the switch I know it's not really it's not really um, it wouldn't really conform to modern electrical regulations because it's not a it doesn't disconnect if if if, the, if there's a power cut and the grinder goes off this grinder would start up again if the power came on whereas the modern switch would it's got a, like an electromagnetic contact on it that would disconnects the grinder in the event of in the sorry in the event of power failure I'll hit this switch instead
quickest way to bring it to a halt. Yeah, so that's about it really. I totally stripped the motor down as you'll see in the photos and clean the clean the clean the inside out with brake cleaner and I ground it all down with a well so not ground it, rubbed it all down with a wire cut brush and resprayed it and it's, I thought it was coming out quite nice actually. And uh it'd be of some use. Together with this beast under here, which you can see, which is the uh I'll get back so I can get a full shot of it. You can just see it under the bench there. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see the name on the side, you might be able to see it. Um, you just, yeah, you can just about see the beginning of the letters there, it's a Meddings, same as drills, it's a, same as drilling machines, it's a, it's a Meddings whetstone grinder. You put water, actually you put water in there. It's for sharpening chisels, and um, drill bits and things like that in a very gentle manner rather than overheating them. If you'd sharp, say you'd sharpen a drill bit on this machine you could actually finely hone it with this one. It only moves very slowly. It's, uh, you see. Anyway that's about it I just thought I'd share that with you. These old machines they do fascinate me you know and uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, there's a modern equivalent down there, you know, it's not very exciting, but it is what it is. But this one should last for probably another 60 years, I would think, so I think that's about how old it is. I've, I've Googled it up and had a look, and there are images on, on Google of this particular machine. And uh, most of them are three face, but this one's actually 240 single face. Anyway, that's about it. Sunday evening, time for a beer.